don't forget to click the bell notification bell it's the only way that you'll be updated when we upload a new video thank you for your support so much we appreciate it. thank you for the support we are looking at new rights we are looking at uh, moving from one area to another at a given period of time in today's video we are still we are going to look at other aspects that are being discussed in the new uae level that will be coming in effect in february 2022 remember this is a new decree or new law that will come into effect in february 2022 for people who are living in uae for people who are living in Abu Dhabi, for people who are living in Dubai, for people who are living in all other seven Emirates that make up Dubai, this is all the good news for you. It's the good news for you. Even those people that are planning to move to UAE, to go to Dubai, to go to Abu Dhabi in 2022 uh, for work, for any other cause of employment, then this is a good news for you. These are good news for you. Not only for skill, but even the expatriates, all workers that are in the UAE. So we are trying to break down the small segments. We are trying to see what does the law talk about in these small segments that we are talking about. Remember, we talked about the end of service gratitude. Uh, we talked about that. What does the law say about the end of service gratitude calculation? In this video, we are going to see what does the law talk about when we say maternity pay or what we call maternity leave and what we call parental leave. Remember, most people get to work, they are married, they have families and they need to take care of their children at one moment time. And remember, in 2022, in 20, remember in 2020, a new law of the maternity law was introduced but now there are some new amendments that are made in this law or that will be made in the law that will come into effect in october in, uh, in, the, in february 2022 in what we call the new uae labor law that is what we we'll try we want to try to see what advantage does a, 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 a breastfeeding mother have what advantages do you have in case you get to lose a born baby what do you have in case you get to give back what are your entitlements will your gratitude be still calculated the same or deducted when you are breastfeeding remember each company gives a given maternity leave at a given period depending on how they get to discuss in the contract but contrary to that in this in this new law i think there are strict laws that are put forward that the employers should follow for all uh, maternity leave pay and what you call the parental uh, leave. So in this video, I'm going to read you straight from what is written or what the new law or what the new law that is coming in uh, February uh, 2022 that is talking about the maternity leave and the parental leave. For those that have children, for those that are working in those countries and you have a family, one, listen carefully. Maternity pay is increased to 60 days, 45 days full pay, and 15 days half pay. There is no qualifying service requirement, meaning that you do not need to produce any document for that to qualify for that. If you are pregnant, if really given birth, then that company has to give you that is no any other qualifying requirements that will be provided. The days will be increased to 60, 45 days full pay and 15 days will be half pay. Then still, employees will now be entitled to maternity leave and pay in case of a stillborn babies and newborn death. Ah, that is another issue, very interesting issue in the new law. You will be entitled to maternity leave in case you have a premature baby that needs to be prompted to grow up, in case you have a newborn death baby. So happen that you, you lose, you get to lose your baby, you will be entitled to leave that will be paid. Then, 
employees will be entitled to maternity leave and pay in case of still born babies and newborn death then let us look at another one employees will be entitled to additional unpaid leave of 45 days if the employee suffers pregnancy related illness in case you get to deliver and you have some other complications you will be entitled to 45 unpaid leave days by your employer he has to give you that what does it mean this period of leave will not be included when calculating your end of service bonus or end of service gratitude that is quite very interesting that all this would be just requirement for the employer to give you as part of what the new law states but your employer does not have the right to include whatever payment he gave you as he's calculating your entitlements or as he's calculating your gratitude meaning that this is just part another side part of it all away from your gratitude which is quite very interesting i think that is very good news for 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 breastfeeding mothers for pregnant uh, mothers for people who are um, planning to to give baby or planning to give birth at one moment of time thank you so much for coming back to this channel thank you so much i i think we'll try to break it down by the way don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon you'll always be the first to know when i upload a new video see you again in the next video it's from the mal make creation tv